Hey everyone, welcome back to DLC the game. DLC. And that's like another thing, like I man, would I love to play a game like Breath of the Wild, but that's a game that's like an 80 hour game. That's just, just new games, man. I'm gonna get to a certain year where I'm like, I can't play games past this year. Yeah. I mean we have plenty of old games to play that we wanna play, you know, but Yeah, it's getting harder and harder to find games to wanna play on the channel that are newer, you know what I mean? Yeah. People, are gonna, people have been saying, like, this new Call of Duty is supposed to be the best Call of Duty ever created. Well, first of all, this Call of Duty don't even have campaign. So <laughs> even if you guys wanted to talk me into it, I literally cannot Can do run. Black Ops yeah. 4 because Black Ops 4 does not have campaign. Right. You know. Where the other ones ha did have yeah, you know, campaign. Yeah, the other ones do. They, they, they uh, got rid of campaign because they made room for the Battle Royale mode in Black Ops. I'm so sick of Battle Royale, Royale games, Band dude. Wagon. I'm so sick of if it. If you played one, you played them all. Yeah. They are all have yes. pretty much a lot of the same mechanics and everything. What's know? the new one, Apex Legends? Yeah. Oh, never heard of it. Don't care. It's free. Is it free? But even still, I will uh, My friends want me to download. I'm like, guys, I've played PUBG. Yeah. I've played Fortnite. Uh, I've played the Blackout mode in Call of Duty. I said, I don't... Why? Why do I need to add another battle royale to, yeah. to that? You know, There's, it's yeah. so it's one of those things where the market gets so saturated with that type of stuff. It happens in all mediums. I mean, yeah, you get something that's popular, people are gonna, it's gonna trend. Yeah, you know, so it really don't surprise me. Back when Twilight like, came out, how many vampire oh, romance movies, you know, and TV shows. shows? They they did it to death. Mm -hmm. Whereas when we were growing up. We got like a vampire movie every every now and again, and like it was new and exciting. And now, now I'm just like I don't need to watch. Yeah, all that. I'm like I don't need to watch something else that I've seen a million different versions of at this point. Not messed up. How that show was not canceled. Why? Yeah, I don't know. They just reached an all-time low when they did a backstory of a villain. They spent the whole episode uh, going through the backstory. Yeah, there's a couple of episodes where they play the game. But they said the show reached a point. Um, right now, they're doing right now. Like the only thing I know of is like on Facebook, they talk about it. They talk about it. But apparently, there's this bald-headed girl woman who controls the zombies. Like she can walk with them and she can see, order them to do things. And she calls it part of the whisper. So to talk to the zombies. The problem with TV shows is once you're a main main character leaves. Yeah. It's I mean obviously these shows aren't just about that one central character, but you take them out of the equation. I mean it's Rick's fucking story. Yeah. You know. Now that Rick's gone, people love Norman Reedus, but he's not main oh, character Norman, material. Who was just telling me? I think my wife was just telling me that Norman Reedus doesn't even want to stay on it. What do you think about him? Well, if he leaves, it's definitely it's done. Yeah. I can see people sticking around a little bit just because Daryl's still in there, but if he leaves, you know, it's, I don't know. It's just, they need to sign better contracts with their lead characters. Like, oh, I'm gonna leave now. And he, Rick didn't even do like the whole season. He left like four episodes in. Yeah. Like, I don't know. back to gaming though. I just feel like a lot of games just aren't for me anymore. Like me as a oh, gamer, man. it just feels like I don't know. Like I'm I'm losing. I I felt like that for the first time I ever felt like that was when Minecraft came out. <coughs> I was like I'm not into Minecraft. I don't yeah, get it. That, that's it doesn't silly. make I, I there's no sense. There's not either. you don't do anything. It's you like just, The Sims. Crafting materials and you can build, build stuff. stuff. For what? Yeah. For what? And people tell me, oh, well, there's like a final dragon boss or something Who that cares? you can fight. And it's like, yeah, but there's no story. I'm like, there's no, you know. I was playing it and this, I was watching this little kid play it. Mm. And I was like, why are there cows here? He's like, these are wolves. I'm like, these <laughs> look like fucking cows. Yeah. He's, it's bad. Everything looks friend. bad. I think the only thing I liked about it was there's some really nice soothing piano music. Like, I like the soundtrack. <laughs> yeah. And other than that, yeah, I don't get games like Minecraft and games that just, what is it, Sims? I never got into Sims. Just, what's the point? I don't get it. 
But guys that work like, these games are coming out, and you can buy this game and this game. I said, I'm buying Kingdom Hearts 3, and then I'm probably not <laughs> buying a new game for who knows how long. You know. Anthem just Anthem, yeah, I was just about to say. There's Anthem, which just looks like another cookie cutter. It looks like, yes, it could be. Yeah. It reminds me of what Destiny is, except that there's more customization and stuff. Mm -hmm. And there's probably more content to do. You know. People that I play games with all the time, like yeah. Call of Duty, I don't feel they like bought I... that game, and I'm like, I'm, I'm not gonna buy this game and play with you guys. I just yeah, don't want yeah. to do it. And I don't feel like I've fallen out of gaming. I still enjoy playing video games. I think it's just like I play the older stuff. You know, like there's no good appealing new games. There's some games for the Switch that are coming out that are looking pretty, uh, pretty good. Because I feel like the Switch was just remaking games over and over and over again, you know what I mean? Like, they were just like, yeah, let's put it on the Switch, let's put it on the Switch, you know? Games I've already played. Uh, but now they're starting to make their own. They just did a Nintendo Select or S Switch, or I don't know what they call it, but they just released a bunch of trailers for a bunch of new games, and, you know, they're all exclusive to the Switch. So it's like, hey, the Switch fine. gives you a reason to buy. Yeah. I would see, I would, I would get a Switch, but to me, I just want to play just want to play Zelda. So it's, not, play Zelda? it's not worth all the money. Yeah. Although, you can play like the old Zeldas and stuff on it. Yeah. So that would at least make it a little bit more worth my purchase. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'd have to... I'm sorry, guys. Lord knows. If I want to play that first one, you know what I'm going to do? What, the I'm going to have to look Zelda? up... I'm going to have to Which look up what first? to do because I'm going to get lost. I have the original Zelda on the Wii U. Because you can kind of go wherever you want anytime you want for the most yeah. part. I don't care. That'd be hard to follow. Oh, how was I supposed to know this guy was in this key that I cave that I had to open up to fucking give me something I would need four dungeons later? Yeah. Like how Aaron said. From Game Well, that's said. how I feel about. I can't keep track of all the names of these Zelda games, but uh, the one I was playing for Super Nintendo uh, was like that. Link to the Past? Yeah, Link to the Past. Yeah. It was like you, you don't talk to this one guy at this one point in time, you lose this ability. That locks you out of the rest of the game, and it's like holy shit, you know. How are you supposed to know without reading the guide? Ah! Not to mention playing all the heart containers and uh, yeah. all that stuff, the complete collection stuff, like which people say you need in order to like beat the game. Because a lot it's... of it you do. I mean, I remember when I first beat Ocarina of Time, I didn't have everything, and I still was managed to barely scrape by. But you know, having all that stuff definitely helps make it an easier time. But yeah, just remember what everything is. I don't know how people uh, got through these games when they first came out and there was no internet, internet or anything. If you got stuck, you're like, what do I do? Now well, we can just were a lot smaller back then too. Yeah, you know, they couldn't they couldn't cram so much into it. Single Not every game is fucking hundred hours. Or if they wanted to make a game longer, they made it so fucking difficult that it's almost impossible to beat. Yes. Yeah. Fucking battle toads. And fucking... I was just talking about that game the other day. And I'm like, I've never heard of that. Really? Battle toads. It's a. It's and now a, you it's, just mentioned it. Yeah, it's very famous for being uh, extremely difficult. You can even do co-op on that game, and it still doesn't help you. You're gonna be dying left and right. They just remade to uh, to Jam and Earl, the old Super Nintendo fucking game. <laughs> fucking, they brought Bubsy back from the grave. He's coming out with another game, and it's like Jesus Christ. Learning the lesson. We're feeling nostalgic. Yeah. And we like to play more games. But then we end up ruining the old thing. Yeah. They brought back fucking Shaq Fu for the Super Nintendo. Did they really? Yeah, you didn't know that. Oh that. man, I remember that game. Yeah, they remade it from the ground up. Brought it out for PS4, Xbox. Wow. Like, Shaquille O'Neal provided the voice acting like he was really invested in it. It did poor. It's a poor. Well, yeah, first of all, it was like a... It was originally it a fighting it a, Yeah, it was. What is that was just an actual... A side-scrolling beat, like a, not a side-scrolling beat-em-up, like uh 
Like an arcade style beat em up. Oh, I would much rather play that yeah. version than the fighting game on. version that I played. Because yeah. that, that game wasn't really that popular or well known. It's kind of like a cold. Yeah, cold. Has a cold game. following yeah. type of thing, yeah. That's crazy. First of all, <laughs> who who was getting high and thought, let's make a fighting game? You know, we should base this on fucking Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah. Like, and none that? of the other characters were, like, based off of, like, anything. They're just, like, ridiculous. weird looking. There's, like, a mummy character? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, Some these different woman thing. Something that looked pretty much like fucking Carnage yeah. from Spider Man. I'm like, yeah, I got caught up in like, yeah, let's, why don't you make a new game and call it Tom Brady's fighting game? Let's take some other random ass athlete yeah. and make a fighting game. I just find it strange that the only thing Square Enix has time to work on right now is Final Fantasy VII Remake. And what are they going to do after that? They're going to make Final Fantasy XVI? They're going to make it online? Probably. Who knows, man? They've just been so quiet. And that game's been out for a while. You know what I mean? Like, 15's been out for a couple years now, hasn't it? A few years, a few years now. And I'm done. I'm not even going to play the next Final Fantasy. And I'm still debating on whether I want to go from 10 to actually just go to 13 mm -hmm. after 10. Yeah. I don't know if I want to invest all my time in it. So because it's such a long game. Yeah. I mean, with, do it eventually, it, but... But like, I kind of just want to have skip it and have just an easier time. I don't have to worry about. I gotta collect all these things, or I gotta yeah. do all these side quests because it's a, just a linear game. And you kind of can't get lost or never not know yeah. what you're doing. It'd just be an easy, fun time or just an easy, boring game. Except having to do the fucking dances to get the summons. Is yeah, other than that. You know. God damn, I hate that so much. In the long ass cutscenes. There's no strategy to it. It's literally just this is what we want you to do, and you got to figure it yeah. out. Yeah. Instead of like just f fighting and beating them. All right, guys. I'm gonna get uh, to the pathway we need to get to, and then uh, we'll call it quits for now. We'll come back, but we made our way pretty well through this. We're in the Wavering Cavern, Wyvern Cavern. Oh, how you fucking pronounce we it? Have I call it wavering too, but we're wrong. Yeah. We're both wrong. <laughs> so this is the way we need to go. We're in the caverns. Look at all the fucking navigation we went through. Uh, so we're gonna pick it up right here. I'm gonna stop and save. Right here, right, right now. now. <laughs> this is the one place uh, I don't want to be because. <laughs> of... <laughs> Who sings that song? Jesus Jones. Jesus Jones. Jesus Jones. What kind of name is Jesus Jones? A blasphemous one. Because that is only hit. Yeah, he was a one hit wonder. Jesus. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, <laughs> we'll see you guys next time.